The threats of human in our environment. Human activities such as overpopulation, air pollution, illegal fishing, overharvesting, global warming, and deforestation are just a few of the factors threatening our environment. Types of human threats 1. Overpopulation It is the situation in which the human population surpasses the ecological settings carrying capacity. 2. Deforestation The major causes of global deforestation are human activities. 3. Air pollution the introduction of heavy chemicals into the environment is known as pollution. 4. Electronic waste The majority of electronic waste is dumped or burned in landfills. This not only puts human health at risk, but it also has a wide variety of harmful consequences for the environment. 5. Overexploitation Can lead to resource depletion and put a number of threatened and endangered species at risk of extinction. 6. Global Warming Warmer temperatures over time are changing weather patterns and disrupting the usual balance of nature. Here are things we can do to prevent harming our environment. 1. Plant more trees. 2. Reduce paper consumptions. 3. Save electricity and water. 4. Walk more, drive less. 5. Support more local businesses that use and promote sustainable materials. 6. Reduce, reuse, repair, and recycle. 7. Stop using chemical fertilizers and pesticides, rather go for organic ones and a control waste so now let us begin with the first one the overpopulation what is overpopulation it is the situation in which the human population surpasses the ecological settings carrying capacity higher population equals more demand for food water housing energy healthcare, transportation, and other necessities. All of this consumption adds to the environmental degradation, increasing conflicts, and an increased chance of large-scale calamities such as pandemics. Overpopulation is associated with numerous of negative environmental and economic consequences, including overharvest, deforestation, water and air pollution, as well as eutrophication and global warming. Here are the things we can do to prevent overpopulation. Number one, planning. For planning, simply educating men and women about contraception can have a big impact. And also, have a fewer child. One or two is already enough. And government should fund family planning programs. Number two, improve. To improve, improve health care in order to reduce infant and child mortality, as well as sterilization fees for men and women or at least covered under all health care plans, and information and access to reproductive health care including all types of low-cost, safe, effective contraceptions. Number 3. Reduce to reduce, reduce child marriage and raise the legal age of marriage to minimum 18 years old. Next, reduce immigration numbers and also reduce resource consumption and pollution through an effective mix of taxes, incentives, and regulations. To sum up, the things we can do to prevent overpopulation is to plan, improve, and to reduce. Deforestation Global deforestation is mostly caused by human activity. People cut or clear wooded areas to create space for cultivation or grazing, which is known as deforestation. D. 
these human actions are putting entire ecosystems, causing natural imbalances, and putting life at risk by destroying trees. Here are things we can do to prevent deforestation. Ending deforestation is our biggest opportunity to preserve wildlife and defend forest communities' rights. Furthermore, it is one of the simplest and least expensive strategies to reduce global warming. The things we can do are support efforts to amplify the voices of indigenous peoples and traditional forest communities, plant trees, Avoid products containing palm oil. Spread awareness and raise consciousness. Use or buy recycled products. Air pollution. Humans are responsible for the vast majority of air pollution, which comes from factories, vehicles, planes, and aerosol cans. Air pollution also includes secondhand cigarette smoke. Particles like air pollution ultimately fall to earth. Air pollution has the potential to affect bodies of water and soil directly. This can harm or diminish the production of crops. It also has the potential to destroy young trees and other plants. Things we can do to prevent air pollution. First, avoid using private vehicle once or twice a week. Reduce the number of trips you take in your car. Consider using public transport. Second, avoid using of products with chemicals. Third, avoid burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas to generate energy. Now let us move on with electronic waste. The rising quantity of electronic items made by corporations and purchased by customers is the primary cause of electronic waste. When electrical appliances and items break, it is less expensive to replace them than to repair the original. The large proportion of electronic waste disposed in landfills or burn. It not only endangers human health, but it also has a bunch of new negative environmental risks. One of the most significant environmental impacts of electronic waste is the release of toxic chemicals into the atmosphere when it is exposed to heat. These toxic chemicals can then transmit into groundwater, causing harm to both land and sea species. And it, it may also contribute to our food. Moving on, here are the things we can do to prevent electronic waste. The first one is to postpone updating for as long as you can. Think twice about getting a phone or other devices upgraded. Do you really need a new device to do your job or communicate effectively with others? The second one is to donate used electronics to social programs. In this way, you don't only give someone a device to use to communicate, but you also reduce electronic waste. And lastly, take them to a dedicated electronic waste recycling facility. If there really is no way to reuse or return the item, find a reliable local organization who will recycle. The next one is overexploitation. What is overexploitation? Harvesting of game, animals, fish, or other species beyond the capacity of surviving population to replace their uses, resulting in the extinction of certain species or the depletion of others, as well as substantial environmental disruption owing to predator prey relationship imbalances. Humans utilize resources at will without considering the influence on the ecosystem in the near or future. Prevent overexploitation. Reduce the number of items, materials, and resources used in the expansion of human existence, as well as the waste generated by industrial activities. Stopping overfishing and establishing additional marine protect zones can also assist. Global warming. Scientists believe that human activity is the primary cause of global warming. Evidence shows that some heat-trapping gases, such as carbon dioxide, are causing global warming. Temperature rises, water shortages, increasing fire dangers, drought, plant and insect invasions, and severe storm damage are all effect of global warming. 
It is also the greatest danger to human and all living things on earth. It is the cause of rapid glaciers melting which will result in a rise in sea level, submerging low-lying areas. Things we can do to prevent global warming Stopping or decreasing global warming does not have a one-size-fits-all solution. Experts believe that a variety of techniques will be required, but electricity is one of the major sources of greenhouse gas emissions, and heating systems are the single largest energy cost in the household. As a result, the most effective strategy to preserve energy in our daily lives is to reduce your heating expenditures, burning fewer fossil fuels, planting more trees, eating less meat, and putting carbon dioxide back into the ground are all possible ways to minimize global warming. Things we can do to prevent harming our environment. Number one, plant more trees. Two, reduce paper consumptions. Three, save electricity and water. Four, walk more, drive less. Five, support more local businesses that use and promote sustainable materials. Six, reduce, reuse, repair, and recycle. Seven, stop using chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Rather, go for organic ones. Eight, control waste.